Good morning. My name is Henry Martin. I serve as the building chair here at First Presbyterian Church in our Building and Faith campaign. I'm going to review some a presentation I did for the session back in August, uh, going over the, where we finished up with the gathering space and the sanctuary upgrades. As you can see, the numbers are here. During the estimated period when we were working through the capital campaign with Clothes and Associates, we estimated the building to be 1.9 million, a contingency of 350, furnishings and decor at 100,000 for a grand total of 2 million 350. When all said and done, we came at 2 million 477 403. We estimated the sanctuary at 250, and that is a that was a true estimate because at the time we put these numbers together, we didn't know what we were going to do the sanctuary other than paint and floor covering, and everything else was just a, a lot of ideas. We came in at 302. We had 50,000 in for upgrades in the, in the education wing, and if you've been there, you know we put new flooring in at $32,000. We've also contributed $150,000 to the mission camp, uh, ministry here at the church today. Some of the major cost items in the gathering space that ate up our contingency and ran us at such over budget. Number one, and probably the most expensive of all of these, the foundation under the, the original stairwell adjacent to the education wing and sanctuary. When we excavated for the new building, we discovered that stairwell that was not on a footing. It was sitting on red dirt, stacked on stacked brick. There was no footing, no foundation underneath it. It was just sitting on dirt. So we had to go back and get the engineer in here. We had to hand excavate under that, uh, get a new foundation drawn, hand place reinforcement under there, and then pump concrete under there um, to put a foundation under there to secure that, that area for the elevator shaft eventually. We had, although we cameraed all the sewer lines through the building, we did have one sewer line, a couple of sewer lines actually, that had to be rerouted. One that was not, we thought was not active and turned out very unceremoniously to be active. Uh, number three was the acoustical tiles. If you've been in the gathering space, you've seen that. We uh, quickly, when we had the sound engineer here, realized we had to put acoustical tiles in there um, or we were gonna have a sound canyon. Number four, the trim package, balcony railings, step delay, was delayed by nine weeks through um, some missed uh, details and also COVID delays. These implied costs for additional supervision for nine weeks uh, was pretty significant uh, because we had to keep super construction supervision on site during that time because we did not have a certificate of occupancy, a CO from the county or city. So as part of our builder's liability insurance, we had to have supervision here. So that extra nine weeks of supervision was an expensive uh, in undertaking. Cost overages in the sanctuary. Uh, it was a big push to change the paint supply company. Uh, although our one of our contractors, the owner of one of the contracting companies, uh, wrote us a significant check to offset this cost. This was a cost to us. Uh, the pickets uh, from the Dixon fence <laughs> or the Dixon rail on the original sanctuary was moved into was reworked into the sanctuary. You see it in the modesty walls in front of the front pew. This was a mandated vote by the session. The rework of the flower shelf to accommodate a full choir. Uh, there's been a lot of, lot of discussion about the flower shelf, the mantle, um, you can call it whatever you want to call it. Um, and that rework was reworked three different times to accommodate the full choir. And the new flooring and all the corridors and parlor that I mentioned earlier was, of course, all this was session approved and the session was kept updated on a monthly basis. And then, I know this is brief, but this is just a conclusion that the committee and I came up with. The project had many daily challenges handled by the building committee and staff routinely. We were able to manage our smaller cost items with the contractor on a give and take basis to, to remain cash neutral. The items previously discussed in this presentation were major cost amounts that hit the bottom line, ate the contingency away early in the project. Overall, we as a committee, are very proud of what we built and hope everyone shares in our pride. Um, thank you for the honor, uh, the privilege of being able to serve. It's been an honor and uh, we're very proud of what we've done. Thank you.